Hello everyone, my name is Arvind and today's topic is IPsec VPN connectivity between Cisco IOS router running on GNS3 and a cloud using NAT traversal. So on this lab, I'll be using Cisco IOS router which will be running on GNS3 and I will take a cloud and for this lab, I'll be using Oracle cloud and we are using NAT traversal. Let's understand the scenario. This is me sitting at my home in Bangalore and other side we have Oracle cloud and which is in Ashburn region. This is the home router provided by my service provider and it has a DHCP pool of 192.168.1.0/24 and this interface has an IP of 1.1 and all the devices at my home connected to this router will get an IP address from this range and this router will work as a NAT and this end we have a public IP address example 1.1.1 so actually it's PAT which will be translating all my private IP addresses to one public IP address this is the service provider this is internet and this is the data center of Oracle now I have to create an IPsec tunnel from this end to this end and here on my router I'm running Cisco IOS router which is running on GNS3 that is running on GNS3 VM and that is running on VMware workstation so I'm using nested virtualization and all these VNICs will get an IP address from this pool so all the resources at my home getting a private IP address from this pool and all these private IP addresses are getting natted by this public IP address so here on Cisco IOS router I'll be configuring IPsec VPN will have a private IP address here and here we have a NAT device which has a public IP address so my VPN device is behind the NAT device and here when we create a CP it needs a public IP address whereas we have a private IP address for our VPN device to resolve this issue we will be using NAT traversal so let's get into the console and we will start configuring it this is my Cisco IOS router connected to Oracle cloud and the IOS router interface is F0 by 0 this is a real IOS image running on a virtual environment so this is the console of my router I uh, will show you the interface so IP interface brief this is the interface which I'll be using for the tunnel and I have manually assigned this IP address from the subnet given by the home router and same IP address I'll be using for my IPsec head end from on premises so we'll start the configuration step by step so this is the console of Oracle cloud I have already created the VCN route table security list and an instance now I'll be creating a CP that is customer premises equipment so the CPE is created on OCI console now we will create the IPsec connection so the first thing I'll give a user friendly name uh, IPsec Arvind now uh, I'll choose a CPE which I have already created I will add all the routes to IPsec tunnel so let's wait for some time let it get provisioned so this is done we have option of creating two tunnels but for this lab I'll be creating only one tunnel for routing we can use static or BGP I'll be using static now we have to set a shared secret key which is already there by default but I would like to change it we'll go to edit and let's say I'll be using Cisco 123 So that's it from this end. Now we'll go on Cisco IOS router and configure the IPsec tunnel from that end. So this is my Cisco IOS router. Let's check the interface. This is the interface I'll be using for my IPsec tunnel and that will be natted with the home router. And I have also added a default route for the internet. That's it. Now we'll start the configuration one by one. The first configuration is defining the pre-shared key. Uh, for that, we have to create a key ring. The 
this is the name of my keyring oracle vpn tunnel 1 this is for tunnel 1 in case if i'm using another tunnel i'll use oracle vpn tunnel 2 or any user friendly name local address since i'm using nat t so i have to provide my local interface otherwise i would have provided the public ip address of on premises so here my local interface is f0 by 0 next pre shared key address now here uh, we have to provide the public ip address of oracle tunnel 1 this is the public ip address i'll copy this ip address now i will provide a key which i have already defined at oracle site which is cisco 123 this is my pre shared key that's it the keyring is done uh, next we will run few commands to enable fragmentation keep alive message df bit as recommended by oracle oci document crypto isa cam fragmentation one more thing wherever we see crypto isa camp it is related to phase one and wherever we see crypto ipsec it is related to phase two next we have to define the policy so crypto isa camp policy policy number could be anything now we'll choose encryption encryption i'll be using aes 256 Next hashing, I'll be using SHA-384. Next authentication, which I'll be using pre-shared group. Diffy Hellman group is five. Lifetime, Oracle recommends to use to 8800. So that's it. We are done with the policy. Now we will define transform set crypto ipsec as i said for phase 2 we always use crypto ipsec transform set here we have to define a name for the transform set so i'll be giving oracle vpn transform now we have two options use esp or ah i will not add extra overhead of using both i will be using esp for authentication and encryption here we have to define the mode oracle recommends to use tunnel mode that's it now we have to define a profile for ipsec and name of the profile is oracle vpn set pfs group 5 set security association lifetime second 3600 set transform set here we have to define the name of transform set which we have already created and our transform set name is oracle vpn transform that's it now another profile we have to create for isa camp crypto isa camp profile i'll give a name oracle vpn tunnel 1 in case of tunnel 2 we will create another one we have to define the keyring which we have already created keyring name so my keyring name is oracle vpn tunnel 1 self identity next match identity address now here we have to provide the ip address of oracle end this is the oracle and ip address as we are using tunnel 1 
slash 32 so 255.255.255.255 now we have to create a virtual interface that will represent the local end of the VPN tunnel interface tunnel 1 I'll provide an IP address 192.168.2.1 here I'm using 2.0 subnet because I cannot use the same subnet for my virtual interface and I'll be using slash 30 so I'll be getting two usable IP addresses so in case if I'll use BGP so I can use second IP address for Oracle end tunnel source now here we have to provide the CPE public IP address since we are using NAT T so we have to provide the local interface which is F0 by 0 next tunnel mode ipsec ipv4 here we have to provide the tunnel destination which is the public ip address of oracle side again this is the ip address of oracle side as we are using only one tunnel Here we have to define the profile which we have already created and our profile name is Oracle VPN. So we are almost done. Now we have to define the routing. For routing we have two options static and BGP. For this lab I will be using static route and we are not using any access list. So we do not have to permit any specific IP address and port number let's add a static route now I will be adding a static route for OCI VC insider and target to the virtual interface that is tunnel 1 that's it so our configuration is done and we have waited for some time to see the status change on OCI console if we look at the OCI console the status of tunnel 1 is up so it means that phase 1 and phase 2 is completed now we will run some show command which will help for troubleshooting or to verify the IPsec tunnel so the first command is show crypto ISECAM security association so on our router the state is QM idle so our state is QM idle it means that negotiation of phase 1 I say camp is completed successfully and this is the instance which is Windows machine running on Oracle cloud it has private IP address of 10.0.0.3 and this is the public IP address and using the public IP address I have already taken the RDP of this machine now we will generate some traffic for this IP address from our iOS router and we will verify whether it's going from IPsec tunnel or not. So we will ping 10.0.0.0.3. We'll repeat it 10 times. So the ping is successful and all the 10 packets sender received. Now we will see whether the traffic has used the IPsec tunnel or not show crypto IPsec security association because it's phase 2 so it shows that we have sent and received 25 packets for encryption decryption hashing this is my encryption domain and if you look at here it is working on port 4500 which is NAT traversal now we will ping Google DNS and verify whether it changes or not Since this is not my interesting traffic, so this should not increase. So this is still 25. Now again we will generate some interesting traffic. So earlier it was 25, it should increase now. Yes, it is 30. 
okay so whenever we are defining interesting traffic our phase two packets send and receive is increasing and it is working on port 4500 it means we are using NAT traversal we will also use a debug command to check the negotiation between two sites when I will run this command it will start capturing the packet for ISA CAM negotiation so these are our captures we will look into it we will undebug now if you look at this line this is the IP address of my OCI tunnel 1 and it is working on UDP 4500 it means it uses NAT-T these are all the messages exchanging between the peers so these are the logs we can use for troubleshooting or verifying ISA camp negotiation now we are on Windows machine running on Oracle cloud we will generate some traffic from this end we will ping the private IP address of Cisco IOS router which is at my home we will send 10 packets before this I will start capturing the packet at other end I will hit enter and I will click here so it has sent 10 packets to my Cisco IOS router we have taken the logs of ICMP and if you look at here this is the IP address of my instance running on OCI and this is the IP address of my Cisco IOS router and it is using the virtual interface which is the local interface of my IPsec tunnel so this is how we have performed the lab of IPsec VPN tunnel configuration from on-premises to OCI using NAT traversal at the end I would like to tell you something which is very important when you define your CP at Oracle side we generally provide the public IP address which is this one but when I used it my phase 1 got established successfully but I faced some problem with phase 2 so I changed it to private IP address and it worked there could be two reasons for this first one my home router is not supporting NAT traversal completely or this is just the case with Oracle cloud I did this lab several times and every time I had to do this I hope the session has been informative. Thank you so much.